Just want to show you what Mix 1.70 can currently do with the SCS3D since the last video. First thing we've got, three vinyl modes. The red is for jogging, uh, purple is for scratching, and uh, black is track select. Um, of course you use the dial to choose the track and you can use these buttons at the bottom uh, to go just one at a time. So let's do that. Load a track by pressing the center button anywhere there. And of course play. Now you'll notice we've got two new features here. The uh, spinning platter effect and the VU meter. Um, the spinning platter is not just an effect. It's actually positionally accurate, equivalent to having a sticker on your record. She just said I, so let's go there. Right there. What about here in this button, this light? So we can go quite a ways ahead. We can change the pitch. And go back. And it's in the same spot. You can rest assured that that will be held across um, if you switch to other decks or anything else. Uh, essentially, it acts just like having a sticker on the record, so it's good for juggling if you're into that. Um, we have uh, effects. These three sliders will let you control the uh, depth, delay, and LFO uh, for the flanger effect. Hold the button down and press the slider to reset the center. So uh, this left button is the reverse while you hold it down. The right one turns on the flange effect for the current deck. Hard to hear on this passage. And that's it. Toggle on and off. Of course you can change out of the mode and it's still active. If you go back in you'll see it still is. EQ. button down to reset the center again. The uh, gain slider is the volume, the volume slider on the screen. Of course you can finger jumps with that too. Pressing the button under the pitch slider changes the pitch um, percentage. We got 8, 12, 50, and 100. And that's adjustable in script as well. Much of the stuff is adjustable. If you go onto our wiki, uh, it will, there's a full manual that explains everything that's mapped here and um, the things you can change in the script very, very easily. You don't have to know how to program, you just change the setting. So, um, we also have hot cues, which is our big, big thing. We don't have five, we don't even have nine, we have 36. Uh, each, the surface has 12 buttons on it, and we have three banks of those 12. Um, when you press the trig button, it's red is bank one, purple is bank two, and black is bank three. You can set them, they're independent for each deck, and uh, it'll remember the, the cue point uh, no matter which song you have loaded. Uh, obviously it's not going to go to the right spot if you do that, so you're going to want to set it for each thing. So, I'll show you how that works. Let's go to where she starts singing. Yeah, let me use the mouse. You simply tap a button at the point where you want to set a cue point. And that's all there is to setting them. If you want to set um, um, the same one on multiple buttons, press it, press the one that's already set, and a couple more buttons. So you can do that if you uh, don't have the machine gun fingers. To delete a cue, you hold the trig button down and press the button you want to delete, and that's it. It goes away. Um, also, in the script, you can adjust which light lights up. If you like to have the red ones instead of the blue, light up to show you the, the cue points. Bank 2. Bank 3. So you see the same button has a different cue point in a different bank, which should be obvious. Okay, uh, we also have, uh, we don't have looping in this version, but we will in the next. Uh, for now, this just does uh, pitch changing with instant, instant buttons. They go up in, in this order. Back to zero over here. Um, the bank uh, one is just 3% up and down. Bank two is like key changes. They're harmonically correct keys. 
um, but they're, they're wide swings. This is just their fun mainly. And the last one is for notes. Um, this works better on a, on a steady note song, uh, like a vinyl time code sound. So anyway, it works like the Vestax controller one, similar idea. Uh, another big thing is the uh, the deck mode. Uh, when you hold it, hold the deck button down, it takes you into that mode. This will let you um, adjust the master volume using the gain slider, and it's relative, so you can make fine adjustments to it like that. Uh, the left slider it controls the pre and main uh, headphone mix. Let's come in your headphones. The center is the crossfader, so you of course can do finger jumps in this too. Tap will reset the crossfader to center. And the last one is the headphone volume. Uh, you just, you know, adjust what you hear in your headphones. Pressing this button in the upper right will be, uh, I think. This button in the, uh, just underneath the gain slider will reset uh, the master volume to center. So if you suddenly accidentally ding it all the way down, you want to bring it up instantly. Just hit that button. Oh yes, this is the balance control. Uh, the pitch slider is the balance control. And so this button here will reset at the center. This is all while holding down the deck button, because these are typically controls you just use for a short time, so you don't need to, don't need to have them permanent. If you hold the deck button down for longer than about a second, it will stay in the current mode. So the assumption is that you were messing with another deck. So let's, but to switch modes, you press deck and it just jumps right away. One other thing I want to show you, while you're holding down a current mode button, you can adjust the, um, the gain of the, uh, the pre-fader gain of the track, which you typically want to get to just before it um, peaks at, uh, when the sound, song is loud. And while you're holding, holding it down, you can do fine pitch adjustment. Without holding it down, you see I can, you know, moving the finger will uh, move a certain amount on the screen. Holding the button down is a much, much finer adjustment even down to the hundredth there, almost. So, uh, it's handy for when you need to get really close to something. Play the song again, we'll mix to another one. And everything's the same on deck too, of course. Let's see, good song. Don't have that key point. Mm -hmm. Also use the vinyl and jog mode to just really carefully move, slowly move the track. Okay. Oh, we also have a sync as well. As soon as you press that, it will link up to the two beats per minute of both songs, assuming it counted it correctly. One other thing to show you, while you hold down, if you touch the top or the bottom of the pitch fader, it will actually do a temporary pitch bend. I'm doing this on deck two right now. As you can see, while you're holding, when you touch it, it's uh, good for just quick fixes. And you can see we've got the VU meter for deck two on the right side, so it's clear which deck you're on. Top is deck two, bottom is deck one. You can also do uh, beat tapping. Let me uh, bring the pitch range up a little more to show you uh, the effect. So I'm tapping really close to the current one. If I want to go a lot slower, like it matching to a hip hop beat, you can see it changes the BPM based on my tapping. It takes an average of the last eight taps. So uh, if you wait two seconds, and then tap again, it will reset. It'll forget the history. So you can see it jumps up really fast. The, that, this also, for this to work correctly, also depends on the, 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 um, 
beat detector to, to be correct. So, and that is Mix 1.70. Uh, this beta is available right now. You can go ahead to mix.org, that's mix with three X's, .org, and uh, click downloads and click on beta.